while the grimdark universe is filled with gigantic monsters and machines of titanic proportions like the titans, the gargans, the greater demons and the non-queens, most of the units or soldiers and combatants however, of all the different races of species are still within the human size scale. And then even lesser known are those which are even smaller or shorter than an average man, yet still considered dangerous and menacing. So here in this video, we will showcase to you guys 15 of the smallest of Warhammer's combatants, excluding the microscopic cells of course. And these are all from the different factions including humans, Xenos and Chaos. So let's get to it. At 15 we have the Tau. So the Tau, a new species in the galaxy, consists of four distinct castes within their race. The five castes comprised of warriors is specifically engineered to be inherently more fierce and assertive compared to the other cast members. You know, in terms of height, these cast members, the five cast, are slightly shorter than the average man, standing around 5.5 feet or 165 centimeters. At 14, we have the Kin. These are ab humans, which are like subspecies of humans that are present in the galaxy in great abundance. They have formed a confederacy of planets called the Leagues of Votan. These Kins are essentially the squads in Warhammer lore. They have advanced technology due to their possession of intact STCs. Anyway, these skin are around 4 feet or 120 centimeters tall. Number 13, the spore mines. Spore mines serve as living airborne bioforms that also act as mines for the tyranids detonating upon proximity to non tyranid bioforms. Biovores cultivate and launch these mines through a forceful muscle spasm, propelling them across the battlefield after growing within the biovores body. While varying in size, the majority of them range from 3 to 6 feet in size. At number 12, we have the Attack Squigs. While there are many forms of the Squig Orcoids within the Orc race, with even gigantic ones present in abundance, the Attack Squigs, these variants, are small yet ferocious predators, essentially a set of snapping jaws on powerful legs. Functioning as attack dogs, they are commonly kept as pets by the war bosses and the odd boys, who deploy them in battle. At number 11, we have the Hormagons. These are the basic nids. The Hormagons are among the deadliest Tyranid bioforms in a high fleet, posing a significant threat to all others, not due to their small size but due to their ferocity and also their uncontrollable multiplication rate. Deployed to target planets via mycetic spores during an attack, Hormagons rapidly reproduce and go on a rampage, annihilating anything in their path. At number 10, we have the Blue Horrors. While a pink horror of Zinj, a demon of Zinj is bigger than a normal man, when it is destroyed it splits into two smaller blue horrors. While these two are just as powerful as their former pink self, blue horrors are smaller and tend to fight endlessly among themselves, as their nature is reversed with the splitting, with their principal traits being sadness and incessant whining. At number 9 we have the Rattlings. The Rattling is an ab human species but despite their mutant status, Rattlings enjoy full imperial citizenship and have historically served in the Astra Militarum's regiments as part of the Militarum Auxilia. While way smaller than a regular man, Rattlings excel in marksmanship known for their ability to accurately shoot heretics heads from over a kilometer away, you know as snipers. Number 8 The Gretchens Also known as Grots, they are smaller subspecies of Orcs characterized by their cowardice. Typically employed as living shields, they are used to clear minefields to traverse challenging terrain and at times even serve as emergency ration food. But many a times they also are deployed for battle, armed with sticks, daggers and other pointy things. Number 7 The Brimstone Horrors Similar to a dying pink horror dividing into two lesser forms, you know the blue horrors, a killed blue horror further splits into a pair of brimstone horrors. These warp entities named for their offensive odor may appear colorful and playful yet beneath their whimsical appearance lie a malevolent and vindictive nature. They are small and burn everything near them with a magical flame. Number 6 The Snotlings This is a smaller relative of the Gretchens and the larger Orcs. They are commonly employed by the larger Orcs as cannon fodder, as food and even ammunition. Occupying the lowest tier of the Orcoid society, Snotlings are mistreated by all the other greenskins and when deployed for battle, they are armed with mushrooms or sticks. These miniaturized creatures stand around half a meter tall. Number 5. Nurglings Referred to as the Mites of Nurgle, these creatures are undeniably amongst the most abundant and beloved offsprings of the grandfather Nurgle, a Chaos God. 
Emerging from the boils and pustules on the fleshy skins of the great unclean ones, Nurgle's greater demons, these mischievous demons frolic and dance around the greater demons, creating havoc whenever they can, their laughter accompanying their playful antics. Number 4. Glitchlings A glitchling, another demon of Nurgle, akin in size and designed to a standard Nurgling, distinguishes itself with metallic mass and other apparent technological features. Aligned with creatures infected by the warp-based contagion called the Gallopox, glitchlings fight alongside them whenever they can. They are essentially a fusion of demonic machine plagues and electrostatic energy. Number 3. Rippers This is a small maggot-like species within the Tyranids. They play a crucial role in consuming biomass for a high fleet on a planet. Despite being the most abundant Tyranid creature, they lack individual intelligence. In large swarms, rippers can overwhelm and devour creatures much larger, much bigger than themselves. However, they are entirely dependent on a synaptic link with a hive mind. And when the synaptic link is dead, they also die. Number 2. The Cortex Leech These Cortex Leeches are also of the nits and they are repulsive beings resembling rippers. They leap onto the victim's faces and insert long tendrils into their ears, nose and eyes. These tendrils then make their way into the host's brain and then mind controls them, compelling them to become a mind-controlled puppet under the influence of the hive mind. And number 1. The Necron Scarabs The Necron Scanoptex Scarab, a small silver beetle-like construct of the Necron, serves as the most numerous and the most versatile among their Canoptex machine minions. These robotic scarabs are engineered to disintegrate both organic and non-organic matter into raw energy. Necron laws deploy them as a weapon of war, unleashing a relentless swarm of these skittering metal entities, these, these insect-like beetles, ahead of their main forces. So those are the 15 smallest human Xenos Chaos combatants of 40k. Anyway, if you like this video, then check this other one as well. And if you want to browse for other Warhammer content, then check out our channel. Subscribe and like for support and bang that bell icon for notifications. Till the next time, take care, boys.